welcome back to another ASMR video. A few nights ago, I had a weird dream where I climbed up a building using stairs and I went to the roof and I jumped off that building where in the end I did not get hurt at all. So this comes to mind where I decide to make a video where I let you imagine falling off buildings from different heights. So this video will take you into an imaginary trip where you fall off different buildings starting from your house all the way to the tallest skyscraper okay this is best listened in your bed lying down face up for the best tinkles so let's begin okay so you're at home you're playing your favorite video game and you somehow looked out the window and you go out to the balcony and you see a really nice backyard with a shed some trees and birds flying hopefully no snow okay so you decide to go out into the balcony and it had some bars on the side where you can hang out and put your arms on it and look at the view. The view at your place. Assume you have a balcony even though you do not have a balcony. So you go out to this balcony and you somehow lie down onto the balcony, the floor of the balcony. And somehow, let's say that the bars have been removed that they're disappeared so now you have a bell um so now you have a balcony without any 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 bars so like a platform let's say so pretend that you are your house is one story tall or two stories tall and you're at the second floor and you are lying down and you decide to roll over so you slowly roll over roll over the platform and you fall so a few seconds later you just fall and then you hit the ground you slam to the ground but somehow you did not get hurt you happen to end up hitting the ground but with a surprise your body is unharmed you feel like you're sleeping on the grass and you could stand up like home so in this dream world you fell from the balcony in your house of the house of your house of your house okay so the next building you would want to try out in their dream world imagining is that you go to a typical 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 office building it's a couple stories high like let's say 10 stories high so you go out you go inside the building and you want to decide, you decide that you want to climb, go up the building, and fall from one of the windows without getting hurt. Note that it's not, this, this is just an imaginary thing. We're going to imagine if this was in your dream. Okay, so you go out, you decide to go forth and roll over and fall from a window from the 10th floor of this building let's say 
so he decided to go. He opened the front door of the building. He walked into the hallway and he decided to climb the stairs. And the stairs are pretty, 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 pretty long. So you take each step. Each step is taking you higher and higher and higher and higher. And then the higher you go, the more you feel that the air is getting thinner, even though the air isn't actually getting thinner. And you could see the damp air of the staircase. You could feel it. You could feel the air of the sky. So you jump, you, you jump up each step, hitting every landing, turning into your next flight of stairs until you see the 10th floor of this, let's say, office building that's completely made up. So you, you end up on the 10th floor, you navigate around the room, you get past all of the cubicles and lamps and all people there. And let's say there is a lot of windows in this floor. Imagine that. And you would want to pick any window. Just one window. And you find a good window. You could slide it open and close it. In the real world, the windows aren't that. They're just windows. You can't open them. But let's say in this building, let's say. One of the windows is open. So you open that window and you'll feel that there's a lot of air, that there's a lot of wind blowing in that window. And if you look outside, if you look down, you see a lot of cars driving slowly in the road below you. And people walking. And, yeah, it's a view of the city. It's a pretty windy view. So, ready. You decide to lie down on the windowsill. You pretend that it's a big window and that your body's width is smaller than the window's width. So, the window can fit the length of your body. And you decide to roll over and fall. So you fall down that window and you keep falling for let's say 10 seconds. But the feeling of falling, those 10 seconds feel like 30 seconds. And you feel the air hitting you as you fall down outside. So you fell down. And then you end up hitting the pavement. And thankfully, no one was hurt. You hit the ground and did not make any sound. And the ground is solid, hard rock. And you end up laying down head first. But the thing is that in this dream world, you are unharmed and somehow you end up untouched as you have only fallen the distance where you jump like as if you jumped and nothing else happened so in this imaginary world you get this feeling that your heart skips a beat when you fall and I had this experience where I fell and I just wake up inside of my dream like I had, I'm in a dream and I fall into this building, out of a building and then I wake up like that. So that is the second building. So you would want to, you would like to try again but this time you want to fall from one of the world's tallest skyscrapers 
So you decide to go to a skyscraper that's really, really tall. Let's say 300 or 400 meters high. Pretend that this 400 meter high skyscraper is just a prism with no actual, actually, no, no other surfaces that you land on besides the ground below you. So, let's say that it's like a World Trade Center type of building, or it's like a, it's like a, a solid prism. So, it's time to give this building a go. You then decide to go inside this building, and then you navigate and end up inside an elevator. And you decide to go up. And the thing is that this elevator, this elevator has a lot of buttons. It has, let's say, 70 floors of this building. Or not 70, let's do 50-ish floors. Pretend that, let's say, 10 meters per story, maybe. Or can't, I can't really tell in reality how many meters would be a story. Let's just do, let's not do meters, let's just do a story type of building. Like, a, let's say, 50 stories high, a really, really tall skyscraper. So you go into the top floor, the 50th floor, and you go up this elevator. And you, as you slowly go up, you tread as you prepare for the fall, for the smooth fall. As the lights of the elevator buttons light up one by one from two, three, four, five, all the way to 34, 35, 36, 37, and then 38, 39, 40, and then 50. The 50th floor lights up. So it is a the, the highest floor of the building. And then you end it up the elevator doors open and somehow you want to get to the roof it's time to go to the roof so you find a you find an area a staircase that's off limits and you decide to sneak into that place the staircase and you go up and up and you end up opening a door that leads to the roof and the roof is pretty windy. It's really windy. And all you see is a blue sky and some gray buildings in the distance. So you slowly start to walk to one of the edges of the rooftop of this skyscraper. And at the end, at the edge, there is a ledge that's, that you could sit on, but technically you, you don't, you're not supposed to. Because on the other side is just 50 stories down to the ground. So you go and reach the edge and you look down and all you see is tiny cars driving past you driving below you, I mean, and everything seems to be like a tiny model, but in real life, in the scale of this building, it's just very, very high up this building. So it's you're like looking at a set of toy cars, smaller, to tiny toy cars driving, and you are in a on the top of the building, that's what it is. So, 30 seconds, and it's time. A 30 seconds starts, and then as you count down, you do a countdown starting from 30 and 0, or you roll off 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. You end up you start to lie down at the 22nd mark 
and you look up, you just see sky, nothing else. You're at the top of the building. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. To your, the right of you is the roof. You're safe from the roof ground. Let's say that you are. You're sitting, you're lying down at the edge where the left part is. Just, it's just the normal roof floor, the floor of the roof. But at the right side is 50 stories of empty air below you. So, you continue your countdown down to 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And then the last 5 seconds are the longest seconds before you make your move you at this point you slowly move the body roll over your body towards the right and remember the right side is just the edge the very edge of this building four at this point the wind feels more makes it feel more that your head Stand the hair, stand up. Three. Okay. It's time to slowly move, move more, and you're at this point. The bot, the part of your body is like at the very edge. Two. You have made an adrenaline rush going through your mind. One. Okay, it's time. And zero. You roll over and all you feel like you feel nothing. But you don't feel anything. The thing is that you feel like you're floating, so but the thing is that you're falling. And then in the first five hundred milliseconds, that's what you feel. But those 500 milliseconds, I feel like 3 seconds. And then you feel the wind pushing you from below you, not from any other direction. The wind, it's like you're pressing up against a fan, but it's hitting the back of your body. And now on the side, because you're rolling over. And then you continue falling and falling and falling. And you feel some sort of like, what's going to happen if you hit the ground? And then you keep falling and falling. And you keep falling as this is like a 10 second fall. But in reality, it's like 20 seconds. And you keep falling and falling and falling and falling and falling endlessly as if you're endlessly falling. And then you're floating again. But somehow, he managed to hit the ground of that building without getting hurt because you're in this dream world. You're imagining things. And he hit the ground. But at the ground, is high level. In the ground, you look up and you see the whole building. The whole structure above you. And you could imagine the roof, looking at the roof of the building from the ground, and the cars passing you making noises. And thankfully, there was no one around the sidewalk. So, that is the dream world. And now, you open your eyes and you're still in bed. So, this is pretty much an ASMR imaginary video imagination video where you imagine falling off arbitrary buildings and tall structures hopefully this gives you some tingles from your imagination and in the next asmr video it'll be another coding asmr video i have not decided but it's going to be coding related so anything 
from Java or JavaScript. If you look in the past videos, I do a lot of coding videos and also ASMR videos like this one. So have a good day everyone and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out.